In this tutorial, we're going to look at the frame properties now. Our first frame property is size. This is um, similar to our application size. It works the same way. We can choose these presets here, or we can enter our own custom pixel dimensions. But to the app application size, this is the actual size of our application. No matter what, our application is not going to be any bigger than this size. If we, here, if we make a size that's bigger than this, then we'd have to add scrolling to our application so that we could see the whole frame, and it would scroll over within the size of the, ap the application. The virtual width and virtual height, we're going to look at that when we do scrolling later. Background color we can add a background color to our frame so if we just click here we can choose a color and now we can see the background of our frame is that color we can choose other and then we can get this windows color selector here we can click anywhere in the color selector and that will give you a color then you can adjust the brightness and darkness of the color here and then you just press ok and then that color will be applied um palette here um if we had selected on 256 colors then in if we choose edit here then we could choose which 256 colors we want fade in if we want our application to fade in or out we use these options here and it's not just fading it can be any transition so if we click on it and then press edit then we have all these transitions to choose from I just chose turn and now if we run our frame then we can see the application comes in with that turn and then when we want to close our application it will go out using one of these if we run it now we can see it came in with the turn now we close it and it's going out with a push um then we also have our runtime options tab here um this this will make the background of the frame will be a snapshot of the desktop um you can you can use this to make if you are making a screen saver that was transparent then you could use this um keep display from previous frame um this will make the background of the frame will be the display left by the previous frame so if a previous frame ended then our next frames background would be that f how the previous frame ended that's what this would do handle background collisions even out of window this option will make it so if in our event editor we use a collide option if we use that then the this will even if our if it the collision happens when it's not in the main window then it will still it will still happen instead of not happening um display frame title in window caption if we have this selected then when we run our frame we can see we have the name of our application followed by a dash and then the name of our frame if we do not have this selected then we can see that we do not have that that uh, 
frame that dash in the frame but we still have our application name um resize to screen size at start this option will if um it will resize to the size of your screen so if your screen was an 800 by 600 resolution then your application would it would resize your frame to be that size um then we have the no display surface um um this will if your frame had only buttons and check marks and bo things like that then you can save memory by checking this option no display surface will be created so um but you cannot display backgrounds or active objects or things like that um Force load on call option for all objects. Um, we won't look at that for now. No display surface. We we already looked had this a second ago um so then we have the screensaver setup frame if you're making a screensaver then this will um if um in the control panel let's go to the control panel and then we choose appearance and themes and then screen saver if we choose the settings this will open um the current frame if you have this selected that will open that frame to choose settings for the screen saver um then we have number of objects It, the more objects you choose the more the more uh s the slower your application will run then we can have a password here um to access this if we run our application and then if we're on any frame and we go to password we don't have password option right there right now let's add a another frame in our storyboard editor new frame we have two frames now if we run our application then we would have and then we would add a password to our um menu here and then that we could open that box and type in a password from any frame and that would bring us to the frame of that pass that the password is on you can also change the password for a frame inside of the um inside of the storyboard editor the about folder is the last folder and in that folder you can enter the name of the frame which can also be edited by right clicking on the frame here and choosing rename and let's close this uh right clicking here and choosing rename or in the storyboard editor you can rename it also there that's going to be all for our frame properties tutorial